Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, very recently I have seen a problem with my home Ubuntu machine and I have basically up upgraded that machine to 20.04 version Ubuntu uh, uh, release and uh, after upgrading this I am not able to do VNC on that particular machine. So earlier I was using this connection, this uh, real VNC connection. But after upgrading, I am not able to connect to it. I'll show you the error which I am getting. So uh, here I am trying to connect to it and it says the error says that unable to connect to VNC server using your chosen security setting either, uh, you know, upgrade VNC server to the more recent version uh, from a real VNC or select a weaker level of encryption. So uh, this error, although it talks about encryption, etc., but uh, you know, I tried to disable encryption, uh, whatever I am using here, uh, you can just go to properties and you can choose the option prefer off, which, which basically uh, turns off the encryption uh, for this particular connection. But even after doing that, it doesn't happen. Uh, so I'll just show you. I have chosen prefer off encryption and now I am going to try and connect again it still throws me same error so basically it seems like it doesn't have to do anything at the client side but something is wrong at the server side so I'm going to quickly move to the server and show you that what exactly I have done to fix the issue okay so first of all after coming to the server what I have done is I have done a packet capture so here in packet capture what, what I can see is so 192.168.1.85 is the machine from where uh, the real VNC client is sitting and trying to connect to the server which is at 192.168.1.78 uh, yeah uh, definitely we are using TCP protocol and here you can see that the three-way handshake is successful since SYNAC and acknowledgement here it says that uh, you know server side is using 003.007 this is the protocol which is basically used at the back end of the vnc so uh, here it says that the protocol version is 003.007.003.007 at the client side also so protocol compatibility is not an issue now after that server is acknowledging to client that yes i got to know your uh, protocol and now uh, you know security negotiation uh, starts so here we are seeing that um, uh, basically server is asking for the tls security which is transport layer security from the client and after that we see that client is also acknowledging it uh, but then client itself is uh, sending a fin flag set and cl client is basically closing the connection after that. So it seems like a uh, server is trying to set up a TLS session which I think client is not supporting and uh, due to that reason uh, we are not able to establish the secure v VNC connection. So let's see, I'll tell you what exactly I have done to fix the uh, issue. So uh, to, in order to fix the issue, first of all, uh, we, what we need to try is we need to try and disable the TLS security uh, option which what uh, server is trying to negotiate. So I just don't want this TLS security here because this is inside my home. So I am sitting in the hall and the server is sitting at, you know, uh, at some uh, room in my ho home and I am just making, uh, trying to make a connection within my home. I am not trying to make this connection over the public network. So I, I uh, really don't need this TLS connection. And even if you think like, for example, if you are, if you are in some enterprise and you are connected via VPN to your, to your, to your enterprise or to your company, and uh, from from your home basically since this is a covid time mostly everybody is working from home so from your home you are trying to vnc to one of your server in data center or somewhere else that connection since you are connected via vpn that connection is already secure you basically do not need tls in that case also if you are using tls 
then definitely you are going to have another layer of uh, security there but i think that vpns are also very secure secure by themselves so uh, you may need tls you may not need tls it is it totally depends on you so let's see let's uh, let me just show you that how you can disable this particular security uh, requirement on ubuntu machine so for that i need to install something which is called dconf editor it is a low level uh, system configuration editor so you'll see what exactly it is once it is installed i'll show you some configurations over dconf editor so i'll just quickly put my password here it says that it is already installed so i am already running the newest version of the dconf editor if you are not having it this command is useful for you you can go ahead and install the dconf editor so here it is my dconf editor uh, once you open it, it it gives you a little warning or a kind of a caution message that thanks for using dconf editor for editing your settings don't forget that some options may break the application so be careful okay i'll be careful this is the default configuration of dconf editor uh, this is the home page once it is uh, once you are here you need to go to org and then you will get, have to go to genome uh, then uh, you'll have to go to desktop and in desktop you will have to go to remote access in remote access you need to search for the encryption algorithm so here it says that it requires encryption right so for the remote desktop i am going to disable encryption i'll just go ahead and disable encryption it says that this folder content content has changed do you want to reload the view i will reload and i'll quickly verify one more time if the encryption requirement is disabled or not yes yes it is disabled now so i'm going to close genome editor now and i'll go i'll just uh, move to vnc connection again and try to set up the connection one more time let's see fingers crossed i think it should work uh, but it, it may not also so this happens all the time with ubuntu ubuntu is a classic machine but you know you'll have to break your head sometimes let me try to connect one more time okay excellent wow so yeah so this has worked okay excellent so this has worked so now you know the this method is very easy whenever you see uh, this kind of problem i have seen over the internet there are many guys looking for the solution for this problem and this is the method which i found very very easy uh, to fix the problem thank you so much for watching the channel please uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done that Thank you so much. Have a nice day.